<laughs> Welcome. We're going to start in about a minute. People are are joining and watching. You know, in this last webinar, on you, we had people from Mexico and Europe and, and all over. Um, it's been exciting. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm sure this webinar is going to be international as well. That's what's making it beautiful. The world is shrinking. Well, for those of you that are listening to us right now and you can hear us, we're getting your text messages. Go ahead and grab a pen, grab a beverage at 6 o'clock Pacific time. We're so glad to have you with us. And uh, we're right on time. We believe in starting on time. We believe in ending on time. We believe your time is very, very valuable. And so we want to say thank you for joining us and taking time out of your busy schedule to join us on this second Write Your Book webinar where we show you how to write your book in 60 days. Fiction author or nonfiction author, it doesn't matter. We help you write your book in 60 days. So why would you want to write a book? Well, there's the credibility piece. Anya, you wrote your book alone in the crowd. You're getting speaking gigs. You're speaking everywhere. And uh, you're coaching a lot of our authors. Um, people want to go bestseller. You know, uh, it's credibility. You can charge more for speaking, for coaching, for consulting. It's a, it's a powerful thing. It's a, it's just a win-win going, going, uh, going bestseller and, and writing your book, writing your book this year. So what are people saying about us? Um, Brian Tracy brags on our team, and he says uh, Michael and his team will help you uh, sell books. And so get out there and write your book. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say stick around till the end. We did this last time. It's a lot of fun because we're going to give you a ton of great content. We're going to hear from some experts tonight. And we're going to give you facts. We're not going to give you, uh, uh, you know, theories and hypotheses. We're going to give you um, tried and true tested facts and then some lucky author writer at the end is going to win a randomly drawing for twelve hundred dollars in online marketing and what could be more important than than online marketing so why listen to us I'm a father of four boys and uh, a grandfather of one grandson a marathoner people call me a book launch expert and I want to introduce my lovely co-host Anya G simply Anya G, just Google well, her. Everybody, yes, it's just G. We've had two authors get movie deals. Anya, what excites you the most about uh, about the webinar tonight? Getting to know everybody, getting to know everybody's story. Everybody's story is uh, written uh, having some purpose in mind. I believe each one of you will uh, put a mark in the history and perhaps. Uh, gonna change it. We really don't know where it's going. Uh, we are lucky to work with really great people with amazing stories that are going to become great businesses and seeing somebody taking off from ground zero and becoming that significant person in history, it's really amazing experience. Yeah, so you know a lot of our authors, you know I know you've been involved in the day-to-day -day coaching on here and we're going to hear from some of our authors that we've been working with as, as people are jumping on the lines here. Um, what, what, are, what are you hearing from people in the trenches? I know you cranked your book out. How long did it take you to crank out your book and then for example Golda and, and uh, some of your others, how long has it taken them to crank out their book? Well, you really, uh, it really depends on uh, how are you uh, committed to the project that you started and are you really following our formula. Uh, of course, you know, there are uh, always some uh, um, bumps here and then and you are unable to deliver on time, but uh, I've been working with people that have started uh, working on their book before, that are stuck right now, that have some outline and need expanding, uh, really working with uh, different authors in a different uh, time of their writing. So helping them overcoming and expanding it and taking their book and writing to the next level, this is what we have been doing and we have been really very successful. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of fun. Nothing brings more excitement to me than, you know, uh, helping launch a book. And we've been doing this for some time. People ask me all the time, how long have you been launching books? And I tell them, before anybody was on Facebook, we were working with authors on MySpace. 
and uh, we, we learned that we could leverage uh, keywords on multiple social media platforms and uh, create bestseller status by getting book bloggers uh, talking about you and about about your book. So what are the stats? The stat are most, most people want to write a book. Uh, most people are really confused about the process. You know, the Internet really killed the publishing industries we're going to show you here. 85% um, of Americans want to write a book. Um, but 95% of, of self-published authors never sell more than 500 books. In fact, most self-published authors have books laying in their garage or in their trunk of their car, and they just can't, can't get rid of them. So it um, doesn't matter if your, your, movies, if your book's fiction or nonfiction. Uh, what we're going to show you tonight in this 55-minute webinar, if you're wanting to get a movie deal or if you're wanting to uh, launch a speaking or coaching business, if you go at it with the mindset of we're launching a real business here, maybe you've been downsized by the economy, maybe you've been in a, uh, in a situation where um, uh, you're underemployed, maybe you haven't been downsized, uh, maybe you're launching a business, maybe you're uh, launching a coaching career, nothing gives you more credibility than having a book. Having a book gives you the opportunity to uh, use it as a virtual business card, to leverage it, uh, it used to be um, not as much of a requirement. Now it, it's just requirement, Anya. I know when your speakers go speak, that's the question. So begin with the end in mind. And I want you to talk a little bit about this slide, uh, Anya. One of our authors here, Arlene Alleman, just had a book signing in Las Vegas. She's on her fifth fiction book here. And, uh, you know, bookstores, authors used to think, if I could just get my book in a bookstore, I know it would sell right. But one of the things, Anya, you deal with our authors on is branding. Talk a little bit about what they're going to learn on branding and, and, and how to build a brand. Well, thinking about uh, the end of the result would be uh, th thinking big, taking it to the star, hitting to the moon, right? So I always tell authors to uh, tell me what is their biggest dream and aim that they're trying to accomplish when writing a book. And then we're strategizing uh, how the route to that goal should look like. So here we're talking about one of our authors who already wrote several books. I think she's right now on her sixth or seventh book. She's mm -hmm. been very successful, but at the same time, I'm bringing uh, to the equation Bethany Frankel, who wrote uh, several books as well and ended up building an empire. She's right now in Walmart. She's in Bed Bath in Beyond. She's really literally everywhere dropping her name drop, um, sold her business for $100 million, uh, and still going and claiming and um, continuing the route to the stars. So really, you know, the most important thing is for you to have the focus uh, and that goal and uh, keep going at it. However, it's going to take you a while, and I always say that it's really uh, very, very important before you even write a book, before you put the book on the market, to talk about it 12 months before you are ready to launch. To brag about yourself, to brag about your personal life, to brag about your professional life, to talk, to tell people that you are writing that book, to give them small fractures from the book, to Instagram, to Facebook, to be very, very active on social media. You've been out there networking. You've been out there speaking. Uh, I know uh, your first couple speeches were free, and and now you've got something booked in San Diego. Well, something. You always, you always need to consider giving it away for uh, at the beginning. You know, you are going to go through certain tests of uh, how much you are willing to contribute, and it's really worth it. Networking, uh, going to the event is really. Uh, absolutely necessary and without being in the right place right time certain things just will may never happen so get out there brag about yourself um, it's very necessary <coughs> yeah you know and, and exactly what you said there you know learn to give pieces of it away you don't have to give the whole thing away but definitely um, uh, have people uh, have an opportunity to go to your website and in exchange for an email address they get a free chapter of your book so many new authors get frustrated, they give up, they want to write their book, but they're, they're confused about some part of the writing or publishing process that they just give up. And that's, that's really sad because 
you know, writing a book is like riding a bike. It, it takes practice, you know, and uh, you're going to skin your knee a few times. You're going to fall off. But my question is, what if writing could become as natural as exhaling or talking? I mean, have you ever gotten pulled over by a... I think right now uh, what you're talking about, Michael, is because many of us think about our stories very little. We tend to compare ourselves and looking at other people as uh, better uh, stories, as better life examples, as better. However, we really never know how our story can impact somebody's life and move someone and uh, uh, what kind of impact it's going to have. So don't underestimate yourself. Every story has a place in the world and has a heart to open and mark to make on history. Uh, and we are here for you to support you and to lead you, uh, take your hand and tell you uh, when you are getting lazy to go back to work and when you are getting stuck for us so we can unstuck you. That's exactly what it's all about. It's, about. it's about having a team, it's about having a family, it's about having a mastermind. If you've ever gotten pulled over by, by a cop, and, and I have, and I won't tell you how recently, but sometimes when you're pulled over by a cop or you're in a nervous situation, uh, you talk a lot. Think back to your first date in junior high or high school. If you didn't know what to say and maybe just rattled on and on, you talked a lot. So the question is, what if we could get the creative juices of, of that moment and we could channel them into your new book so it's as natural as exhaling? Uh, we're going to show you this is an author who wrote her book in 15 days and went on to get a movie deal. Uh, the point is every author had a writing coach. She had a writing coach. You'll learn more about that. But you literally can write your book once you turn on. Most of, most of us live really compartmentalized lives because of modern technology and kids and our smartphone and our responsibilities that if we can learn how to unplug and disconnect and we're going to go into some details on how you can do it. So maybe you can't write your book in 14 or 15 days, but... But also the people that we are dealing with are people that are usually creatives, people that like to create, and they're artists, and they're sensitive people. So writing itself is really not a problem. And uh, I have to say that all the people that we're writing, uh, working with have extremely very good writing skills. And going through their manuscript, I was just wowed. It's not about the writing part. It's really about the marketing, bringing it to the market and leveraging your writing so that it becomes profitable. And that's what we're going to teach you. How is everyone tonight? There's a chat box over on the right. Just click on the, uh, the chat up on the left corner uh, where you see the chat box at the very top. If you click on that, then you can uh, ask us some questions. But here's what we're going to do over the next 40 or 45 minutes is we're going to show you how to choose a topic uh, the people, uh, topic and subtopic that people will want to buy. How do I get my manuscript from my heart and my head to my paper? Glad to have you, Nicole, too. The three keys to pre-sell your book to strangers and not just family and friends. If you were like me and, and had been a part of the NFL club, the No Friends Left Club, uh, then, then you looked online for resources. I found myself as a single dad uh, needing to earn income online. I started marketing online. I found... Uh, Lots of opportunities online, and um, realize that we can sell books online. Um, and then also, really, to learn how to launch the book with social media. That's my favorite authors that are using mind mapping to uh, to create their their manuscript right now. Uh, mind mapping, I really recommend it as a great tool for uh, everybody to start working uh, on writing, but not only. My mind mapping is great for starting your ideas, um, taking uh, them to the next level, expanding them. Uh, they're really great for writing, uh, building empire. Uh, my guru uh, in that area is Tony Buzan, who is really a brain expert and explains why brain mapping is extremely uh, um, effective. And uh, I also uh, recommend that every time you are walking, driving, taking a shower and having some great ideas, write them down on sticky notes, add them to your mind mapping, uh, put them all over. It doesn't matter if right now you have idea for them 
or not, just write them down and stick them somewhere so you can find them, dig it out, and explain it later. Yeah, it's really exciting to see these these ideas come to life and what your story is. We spend a whole week during our eight-week, 60-day coaching session talking about one week is on storytelling, one week uh, we're dealing with mind mapping the uh, the book, one week uh, we're dealing with branding, and, and actually the first week we're just spending on building the business of the book. And uh, these are the three stages right here of the manuscript being the baseline. It's being the launching pad that we launch everything from you know everybody wants to to show up next to Tony Robbins as a bestseller this is one of our authors Bo Henderson and and uh, really excited that his rich life uh, hit number one recently but you know what Th there's a whole strategy there's a whole process that goes into that and so we're gonna give you we're gonna deliver tonight what we promised to deliver to you and uh, maybe you're taking notes feverishly we're actually got a replay after we're done we're gonna not only give you this this webinar replay link right after it's over but we're also going to give you the all these slides so for those of you that are that are coming on board here or got stuck in traffic I'm gonna give you Anya and I are gonna give you seven fatal mistakes that new authors make um, number one is they don't market enough uh, they market wrong they don't know what marketing <laughs> is now we're gonna show you actually how to sell your book before it's back from the printer yet and uh, we're going to use tonight as a case study Golda's book and her book Ugly Duckling Overcoming Shame and Finding True Beauty you're going to be hearing about that book tonight uh, but she asked all the right questions uh, Anya's branding team helped her um, create that cover but first digging into uh, the Google keywords and find what people are searching for online about your topic uh, the big mistake they made is they don't give me a reason to buy their book it's so much noise in the marketplace and with a million new ISBN numbers a year um, and, and books practically free I mean I can get any book in the world free right here um, so you're competing for time you're competing for attention how do you you know when the uh, when Napster killed the music industry some um, uh, Sony and some of the other production companies adapted and some of them went out of business and so the same things happen with the internet uh, will you adapt will you go out of business that's the question so think about this think about what are the keywords that people are typing into Google and saying um, asking questions about beauty or about my topic so we're gonna show you how to do keyword research to find out if uh, if there's a market for your topic and uh, Google Analytics is always changing and they're always wanting us to spend money but there's actually free keyword research tools that you can Google free keyword research tools and find out which ones to use but people forget that Amazon's about the fifth or fourth largest search engine in the world and, and for example if you're writing a book on organic cooking you can go search it and you can actually see how many people are uh, have written on that topic you can see what their subtopics are and what uh, categories and you can see actually how well the book's selling uh, you can do all your research right there on Amazon so I would encourage you to rethink about your topic and subtopic and look at it through the eyes of Google and ask what would Google do what would Google say here's somebody that did just that I, and, and I encourage people to get uh, totally emotionally disconnected this is uh, uh, mistake number one people do they get very emotionally connected to their projects that are supposed to be their businesses so you need to be really very cold-blooded today you need to look like a machine think like machine you need to think like Google because it is the device that is going to leverage you it is going to be device that it's going to take you out there and it is going to be device deciding what kind of words they are understanding what I also want to bring up uh, that slipped away a little bit today uh, because uh, Michael you told that many people don't understand what is marketing and uh, people are insisting on certain book covers and they are insisting in general on things that they think they know well today we are living in the young millionaire generation it has been completely different uh, before you know you be you were becoming millionaire when you were 60 70 years old you were retiring and you were enjoying your life today is completely different you can be 30 year old millionaire or 26 seven-year-old millionaire like Zuckerberg for example okay 
because these kids know what they are doing. They are sitting, they are clicking, they are analyzing the internet, they are analyzing the um, the internet market, they are analyzing the cyber world and they know what it's about. We are a little bit uh, older generation, we really need to make a major shift and major adjustment, hence let's disconnect ourselves emotionally and then we're going to be more likely successful. That, that's a really great point and it goes back to um, talking about the business of the book and the book of the business and, and really what is the purpose of you writing a book? Uh, do you just want to get a book out to market or do you really want to use it as a virtual business card and leverage your business around it and be known for those keywords for life? You know, the internet is so new that you can literally, if you're a local business owner, and that's my background is marketing uh, local business owners for years and years on, on the internet before anybody was on Facebook, and looking at those keywords and and, and as an author that travels globally and people can buy or your competitors can market to your, your client base globally now, how are you going to be known for those keywords for life? So it's a great point. Look at Google. And here's somebody that had a dream, and, and I think he's a great case study, and he's a friend. I mean, he's sold half a billion books. But you got to admire Mark and Jack's to David's, Jack and Mark Victor Hansen's tenacity was – after 140 rejections, they kept calling and pounding on doors. So everybody knows the story now, but the truth is they believed in their brand and they believed in it so much that they would not give up. Launching a book is a process, and these these are some other great literary classics and best-selling authors of all times, but look at how many of those titles you recognize Every one of these authors were rejected dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of times. And here's another success story that was all over the news last week. I, I actually posted this article on, on my Facebook, and one of my friends said her great uncle uh, was a college dorm mate with Theodore. They called him Teddy, who knew that Dr. Seuss' first name. And he's not even a real doctor, right? It's, uh, it's an amazing story. But my, my goodness, what an inspiration and what a brand. His, uh, his widow is still alive and collecting some amazing royalty checks. Now, Anya gets very deep and heavy in our 8 Weeks and 60 Day program with you on, on marketing and branding. But let's just say we have a number of case studies to show you. And if you're on the fiction track or if you're on the nonfiction track, um, we can roll into these and, and, and plug you into these because really – Right now is when you got to ask the questions. What does my launching pad look like? Who are, uh, who's in my corner? Because this is where most of the effort takes place is on the launching pad. And understand that that everything shifted, everything's changed. This Borders picture was taken um, oh, a couple years ago when Borders went out of business in 2010. And this Crown Books in California. Um, all of the crown books have gone out of business, and by the end of the month here, which is just a few days left, uh, they're all going to be out of business. So the long and short of this is the Internet killed the publishing industry, but the revolution is you can be a revolutionary. Look at these numbers. These are online sales. These are ebook sales. These are uh, your opportunity. It's just, just through the roof. So when you come at it with the right attitude that says, I'm not in this to make an overnight deal. You know, Simon and Schuster is not knocking on your door. Uh, hey, if they are, we should talk. But um, this is your chance to own the stage. This is your chance uh, to really build a brand over the next um, three to five years that can pay you richly for life. You know, uh, from a branding perspective, uh, and I would like to add something that's very, very important here. We cannot have that expectation that when we're going to write a book, the book is going to sell somehow miraculously before people get to know you. Because the truth is, we never buy anything uh, unless it's necessary, milk, bread, butter, eggs, I don't know, whatever. But we never buy anything that we are not emotionally connected with or we never will buy from anybody that we are not connected with or we are not going to buy something that we are not familiar with that person. 
So when we are talking branding and we're not when we are talking a 12 months before your book, you really have the 12 months to brag about yourself, your credentials, your expertise, your um, experience, uh, the process of writing the book, of how the book was born, or how the idea for the book was born. And then really, 12 months after you talking about you start actually starting a, a selling a book. Now, after the book is written, we will be thinking another uh, post product after the book that we can be leveraging and selling and expanding your brand. So really, there is a timeline to launch everything properly uh, in order to become successful and uh, really significant exp um, expert in the pseudo expert world as I said because you know in the internet era you can go online and you can diagnose yourself based on symptoms because everybody says you know I am an expert you know I, I am a nutritionist I am ABC but I, are you really and if you are what is there behind that makes you an expert? So I really encourage people to go deeply into uh, into that. Yeah, that's a good point, Anya, and it really is a process, you know, to tell your story. If you followed Brendan Machard, a multiple New York Times bestselling author, you know, his story on Life's Golden Ticket where he was uh, – almost fatally injured in a car accident, he lay on his back and he, he thought he was dead and he looked up uh, and he said, God, am I dead? And his first question was, did I live, did I love, did I matter? And out of that, he's written every one of his books and so looking at what is your story and your story is really what's going to intrigue people. It's going to create this emotional hook and people are going to want to connect uh, with your story. And what is evolving here you know, the book is just the vehicle. Really what we're talking about is we're talking about being able to craft your story. You know, Anya's got an amazing story. She's a Chernobyl survivor, uh, the world's uh, one of the world's most um, outrageous nuclear disasters. She survived that, and she parallels her health survival in her book, Alone in the Crowd. You know, my story is I stuttered as a child, and so one thing that makes me so passionate about helping authors build platforms and launch their books is, is I know the frustration of having a story burning deep inside and not being able to get it out because you stuttered or, or the platform or the vehicle was not there. And so we go for a full week into uncovering your story. You work with some of our mastermind team members to, that are grads that go forth and, and uncover that story and really dig deep. I mean, let's face it. This is the new distribution. This is the new bookstore. So forget about the vehicle. Let's think about what we're really offering here is a piece of our heart, a piece of ourself, the ability to proliferate and to touch lives relationally, to be impacted by another human being, and to impact another human being, to open up our heart to know and be known. So the question is, what's your story, and how will the world receive it, and how will you make it easy for the world to share it? So we're going to give you a quick checklist here. This is going to be in your after action notes. and you got to know your market, know your content. you got to tell a good story. Uh, one of my favorite storytellers is Gary V. Gary Vaynerchuk. He's a lot of fun. Uh, sometimes he uh, he's not always PG-13 in his conversations, so you got to be careful if you're around the kids. But I love it because he's passionate. He's a storyteller. He makes you feel in the moment, and he challenges the status quo, and he smacks you upside the head. It no, is no, not what your, mar what your market is. You need to tell your content, and you need to tell your story in a very dynamic uh, way. Because today, world is fast. Everything is fast. You know, the, the video storytelling is 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and this is your time. So you need to learn simply, uh, write uh, simply uh, and very dynamic so that the story is absorbed, loved, and shared. You know, it's exactly right. And, and the world is global, and we live in a 24-7 news cycle, so you got to be able to package it, and you got to be able to react. Yes, that sounds awesome. So here's what we're going to help you do. If you've got an idea for a book, uh, we're going to start with mind mapping. This is a fun exercise we're going to spend a couple weeks on to really uh, create the skeletal structure of where your book's headed, 
We're going to show you how to do the research and development to um, really research who's searching for your topic, who's already written uh, in that space. One thing Anya noticed uh, in Living Well with Endometriosis, it's a disease and a condition, that a health condition 175 million women have, uh, and it's right behind cancer and diabetes as far as how many people actually have it, yet nobody knows about it. And so what Anya found is on her lifelong quest and, and research here was that it takes 10 years to get a diagnosis, and she read everything she could consume on the Internet and on Amazon, and quite frankly, women were either playing the victim role, and the others that weren't were medical doctors who were advocating were very <laughs> medical in their in their communication, very dry and uh, academic. So Anya did her research. That's what she found. She put the meat on the bones, and bam, we've got a bestseller here. And so one of the, seven of the mistakes that new authors make, let me go through this and pick out which one affects you. You know, I think I already did the slide, didn't I, Anya? Yeah, you did. You did. Move on. It's so important I included it twice, so it's going to be in your... I think this is the one you wanted me to spend a moment on, right? The five C's to bestseller. Yeah, are, oh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Michael. Yeah, these these are five components. A lot of authors, you know, if, if they're being coached by a book coach or a publisher, they may get two of them. Contents the manuscript, but just as important as the manuscript and the content is the context. Who you associate with, who you interview who you quote, who you retweet on social media, who you stand next to at events, who you do, do photo ops with, who you tweet photos out with. You know, we're living in a 24-7 news world, and if, if one of these areas is weak, you must be strong in the other area. Now, I would love to publish Brian Williams' book because it's controversy, controversy, and, and even Bill O'Reilly, controversy. We already know he's a bestseller, but it's trending in the media. So... If you don't have a lot of conversation and people talking about you, and you don't have a lot of endorsements, then you need to be strong on cover design. And it, it's a it's a balancing act, but with these five factors, we've actually got a checklist. There's a numerical value we've assigned to this called the tipping point that creates bestseller status. And we go into a lot of um, detail uh, in this, but the main thing to think about is think of writing as marketing. And Anya, maybe you could comment on this because to really keep people engaged and turning the page, it's all about hooking them. You mentioned you just have a few seconds, and it's true with the 30 second elevator pitch, but you know, with a book in a bookstore or a book on Amazon, you've got about three seconds to snag them, and then it's yeah, so easy so, to lose. So it's really, really extremely important how you to tell the story, and uh, I'm going to go back a little bit to the former slide about controversy. You know, unfortunately, the world is constructed so that people like the emotions and controversy, and you don't hear on the news that cat delivers three babies, right? You don't, uh, you don't hear boring, good stories. People have always liked the shiver, and I always give an uh, example of Gladiator. You know, you had a whole arena and everybody was waiting for that very moment of the judgment, of death, of the bloody moment. So we really need to, um, you know, when you're looking, uh, look at the book, I would say, as news channel, right? You have a short, very short fractions of information from all over the country, from all over the world, in few seconds exactly. And this is how you want to tell your story in the book. You need to tell the story, you need to tell why you are saying that story, and you need to tell how to is about that story. So we will be teaching you uh, about how to construct it so your book is marketable, so your book is sellable, so your book is ready for the market. Uh, so the internet and Google and all the search, in, search engines understand what you are talking about. Same thing about your title and subtitle. Don't try to make it beautiful. Make it so it works. And uh, we also are going to give you certain pointers. I always consult everybody on how to pick a great title, which usually is two words. 
and then subtitle that can be a little bit longer. But everything uh, behind everything, you have a science. Everything has a reason why and how it needs to be done. Yeah, there is a science, and there's a lot to publishing a book. And this is why people get confused because if they decide to self-publish or, or uh, go to Create Space or do it themselves or whatever, but these are some of the things that people overlook. And and the reality is, if you want to get in a bookstore, there's a lot to think about. Let's have a conversation. If you want to get your book uh, in libraries, that's very important. And maybe you're thinking, well, I don't want to be in libraries because that's free. Listen, we've got authors going in the libraries, and the cool thing about it is. Yeah, it's free exposure, and a lot of these libraries, when they buy books, uh, they buy a hundred at a time because they're for a whole district. So that is a digital billboard. We used to say in the days before Amazon and the internet that if if we could get three thousand of your books out in the market with people talking about, then we could create a bestseller. We could create a viral buzz of people talking about your book in the marketplace. And it's like, here you go, you got to check this out. That was before the internet, and so. It's, it's a progression. There's a timeline. What are your goals? Uh, how many nations do you want to be in? How many bookstores do you want to be in? Uh, do you want to go totally virtual and actually, like, like Golda, selling your book, her book's going to start selling on her website next week. It, it, it's an exciting thing. And uh, you, we can actually pre-sell your book uh, before you're done writing it. And you might say, how is that possible? Uh, that is uh, that is actually the only way to go right now because you are filling up the market, you are filling out your audience, you are filling out uh, your tribe that you are building in time when you are work, uh, working on your manuscript. And all the people that you are looking at right now, we were working with them and still are in the sixth week period. All of them have really amazing story. All of them are really amazing people. Um, it was a great mastermind. Kids. They were working between themselves. You know, they have been coaching um, themselves together. So, really, I have to tell you, it was an amazing experience in those six weeks. Sounds like your dog's enjoying the webinar. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, so here, here's a girl, and I say girl. She's a young woman uh, out of Florida, launching a book with this um, ugly duckling and. A rare skin condition um, called keloid. She grew up in South America and moved to Florida. And, and the title of her book is Ugly Duckling, Overcoming Shame and Finding True Beauty. The manuscript is done. It's being edited right now. She's going to be offering the first chapter of her book for free starting next week and also offering pre-sales on the book uh, for, for a launch date to be determined in the spring here right before summer. Beautiful thing about this, she's an esthetician, she's a blogger, and she's doing a lot of, maybe Anya, because I know you've, you've been coaching with, with Golda even before we launched the uh, uh, really Write Your Book young, webinar. Uh, really uh, young, beautiful woman uh, who is still overcoming her shame, uh, has gone through some uh, things in her life. Um, she wrote a book, but the book is only one of the products that she's launching. She opened her gallery with her art that she started painting when she was trying to find the true beauty. She was going through some uh, therapy and uh, art helped her overcome it. So you will see her uh, gallery on, on her website where she is also donating certain amount of money to that very organization that is doing research for keloids. So really very interesting story. She really didn't have clue where she's going uh, before she started writing that book. Um, and uh, I think it's a case of everybody who is writing a, a book and making it a business. You really don't know where it's going to take you. You really don't know who you're going to meet. You really don't know who you're going to end up working with and you really don't know who whose interest you're going to capture. So be very open. Open yourself to the world. Start working on your tribe. We are going to take you through that. We're going to tell you exactly how to do it, which people to target, how they're target, how to write to engaged VIPs that you want to be working with. So, um, she's you know, she's got medical endorsements and uh, she's been out there networking. She's got a couple thousand people follow her on Instagram. She's very active on social media, shooting uh, YouTube videos and talking about her. Uh, her book, so she's she's a smart, uh, very smart marketer, and she's got a great online following. So follow her, bookmark her site. 
you know, gr growing up in church, my mom said, Michael, you're not supposed to brag on yourself. So since I stuttered as a kid, I didn't talk for five years. So uh, I'll, I'll let other people brag on me right now. But Jim Stovall is the founder of the Emmy Award winning narrative TV network. He's personally sold 20 million books. He's had about five movies done from his book, and uh, he recommends us. So more on that. If you want some more information, I'll throw that in. Here's another one of our authors we've been working with, and uh, what a lot of fun, huh? We've, we've had a lot of fun with these authors, Batista, and uh, she's a bodybuilder. These are her last two books. She, her and her husband, Mr. Fitness USA. What was the big takeaway with her? Because hers is the mind-body connection, and um, I know she struggled the first couple weeks, but what was the aha moment for her, Anya? Something that would help the folks here. Well, uh, she actually had uh, many aha moments. Um, uh, what happened with uh, her was that she started talking about her life, her story. That is a really, really amazing story. At the same time, she uh, had a product coming out of the book, which is a bodybuilding program. And what I didn't want to happen, I didn't want her product to... Uh, put in shadow her wonderful story that itself is a product to help people overcome uh, many problems that she had because her story is very compelling and a lot of people will be able to relate a lot of the stories. So I always tell people that what you are selling is emotions and the more people can relate to you, the better for you. So don't try to make it perfect. Try to really be real and stay real. That is the best story ever. You know, and, and I think you and Denise also coached her on the, uh, it's not just about writing the memoir, but it's actually putting putting the, the steps of action, the positive. You know, memoirs are the worst selling books, so how do you take your book that would otherwise be a memoir about tragedy in your life and turn it into something positive that could become a bestseller? And, um, and for that, I want to introduce us to uh, one of our guests on the uh, on the writing. Every go around is International Book Writing Guild president, and and our friend Denise Michaels. Denise Michaels is just a phenomenal lady who is best selling author in her own right in sixteen nations, and um, has coached New York Times best selling authors. And, and one thing she really coached you on, I, I know it was connecting some of those threads. Um, developing your story. What was the big takeaway? And then, what would you say to somebody that, you know, I need a little more coaching? I, I asked Denise on you before I get your feedback on 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 uh, Denise. Was I said, Denise, give us one tip because I know you're dealing with, and I think she's ghostwriting a couple books right now, but she's just phenomenal. It's uh, when you're stuck, admit you're stuck, and don't try to fake it. I know in in Poland, growing up, you tell the story on you about, you know. Tell that story, but you don't ask for help, right? Well, we don't ask questions. If you ask questions, you are a dumb person. Um, and so basically, if you don't know it, you better learn how to figure it out. But what I really like about Denise, she is not very nice when she's coaching you, so that if she <laughs> what sense, she will really tell you what is bad and what is good. She will really tell you do and do not. And uh, I have also noticed that a lot of people, uh, some of the people got uh, touched emotionally because they are connected emotionally to their book. And she did tell them, do not do that. It will not work. It will not sell. You want to do it for the sake of doing it, great. But if you want to make money on it, it's not going to happen. So I really like her um, being very honest. Um, she is very strong uh, in coaching in that regard. She will tell you you need to uh, write how-to book. She will also tell you that in a book, it's actually the only place in the world that people like to be told what to do or what not to do. Because sometimes we are very um, careful in writing not to tell them, tell people what to do. But, you know, actually... When you are thinking about it, you're going to the bookstore because you want to know how to do something, how to cook, how to lose weight, uh, how to overcome alcoholism, etc., etc. So really great guest. Uh, we always love uh, having her. Um, you get a full hour with her. You get to ask her questions, and she chats with you. Yeah. She'll friend you on Facebook. You can, and, and that's the beautiful thing here. You can ask questions. She'll chat with you, and she'll share. 
And, and she'll basically not hold back. She doesn't care if she hurts your feelings or not. She'll just tell you if something sucks, she'll tell you, hey, listen, that sucks. So you want to write a book. You want to get your manuscript to the world. You've put it off for the last several years, and you've decided this is the year I'm going to do it. I'm not going to let anything else get in my way. What are my options on writing my book and getting my book to the world? Well, you could write it yourself, and you could do that. A lot of people do that. Uh, or you could hire somebody to ghostwrite that for you, but that can be expensive. Um, this is my friend, uh, John Mason. He wrote An Enemy Called Average, and he sold almost 2 million copies. And, you know, he said a fair price for ghostwriting is 40 to 50 grand, and that's what most publishers charge. Um, we don't exactly charge that much, but uh, we've got some good ghostwriters. But actually, um, it's, 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 a, it's a hefty sum, depending on if you're just. See, there's two things about that. There's some people that just want to get a book out and say they wrote their book. Then there's some people, and you can read about it on our website under Ghostwriting at Beyond Publishing, uh, they really want it to be a bestseller, and they really want it to, uh, to make a buzz in the marketplace. You can plagiarize a book, just go slap your name on it, uh, or you could, and we're just kidding on that, or you could do it with the team, and that is really what is recommended because most people – at the end of the day, they have a life, they're busy, they get stuck, and they don't have time to sit down and bang it out at the computer for the next 60 or 90 days. Imagine working in a group environment where you've got 12 other friends, 12 other mentors that have already been through what you've been through, and they've written their book. So ask yourself this question. Here's what we're offering you is a 60-day program, and it's the power of 60. There's something magical about the power of 60 where you get eight weeks on a recorded webinar like this where you get one-on-one -on -one time. It's a small group interaction. You can interact with us in chat. We have best-selling authors and experts and people like Denise Michaels on here and like Anya who are best-selling authors and like people like Golda that have written their book and people like Batista and others that have, have done this with us. You get a total of 10 hours coaching. That's eight weeks in a row, and then you get an hour of one-on-one -on -one brain dump with Anya, and I think you can see she's very valuable. She knows her stuff, and you get in a one-hour brain dump with me, or if you want to take both hours with Anya, that's fine. She, work she works at Beyond Publishing, so. I um, always encourage people to be totally open-minded on um, other people, and I will explain you why. Uh, people that have been very successful in retail, and I don't know your background, maybe you are doing retail, these are the only people that are selling things they don't like. And uh, I have had my retail store myself. I came to America and I opened beautiful European store and American people didn't have clue how to behave. And I was thinking I'm doing them a favor. <laughs> really loved my store and they really admired my store, but they hardly bought anything because it was so perfectly done. So, uh, because at that time I was very emotionally connected and I was very set in my uh, ways, I failed. I failed with my very successful idea of the business. So being a part of the mastermind where everybody has succeeded in some areas is extremely important because you are really opening doors uh, for something new. And, uh, you know, there is no single person behind a huge success. Behind huge success, there is always mastermind of people. Whatever you're looking at, you're looking at places like Amazon, you're looking at Costco, you're looking at McDonald's, you are looking at every great enterprise. There is not a single person behind such a thing. So be open-minded, be open-minded for criticism, for constructive criticism, for ideas, and you are going to be very successful. Exactly right, exactly right. So here's what you get. We call it I-squared coaching simply because we simplify it for you. It's a 60-day mastermind. You get peer-to-peer -peer reviews. You actually get to work with the people that are going to help you launch your book. They are present when you launch your book, so we're creating this tribe of book launch experts at Book Selling System and Beyond Publishing. You make new friends, and it's, it's a private online community, and it's an open online community. So we have a Facebook private, then we have a Facebook open group, 
And uh, it's basically you writing three pages a day, a 180-page book in 60 days, bam, and the world's ready. What, what I squared is not. It's not us writing it for you. And, uh, I mean, quite frankly, if you've got 20 grand or if you've got 10 grand and you want to talk to us about our ghostwriting, we'd be happy to talk about that. But most people um, don't have that laying around, or if they do, they still like the experience of writing it themselves because they leverage it uh, like many of our masterminders do as marketing. And so I think you can see we're very strong on marketing and uh, you get a, a good flavor of marketing because at the end of the day, it's all meat and potatoes. People just serve it up differently. And so here's what we're going to identify that first week as we look at the business of the book. We're going to show you some case studies and you're going to identify where you want to fit with your end game. You're going to craft the story around your story, and maybe you're saying, "I wasn't. A, I'm not a Chernobyl survivor. I I, I didn't survive a, a car accident. I didn't lose a child." We're going to craft the story that's best to get people, like Anya said, emotionally connected with your book. Spend a full week on branding with a full checklist, PowerPoint, and video to follow every week. You get how to get unstuck with the International Book Writing Guild. Denise Michaels president. You get that video. You get the powerpoints. You get these powerpoints every week. You get the checklist. You get the videos every week, and you get to hang out with the authors every week in the private group. Those that have already graduated, and those that are going to be coming on board in the next few weeks, because the the group that's coming through now, I think, has got three weeks left, and so this group. Our their next group is going to be starting the second week of uh, March. And you get bonus. You get best-selling authors popping in, uh, New York Times best-selling authors on fiction and non-fiction side that pop in and say hi, and you can ask them anything. Then, then at that point, after we've done all the mind mapping and the you've been writing three pages a day, we do some exercises to help polish your manuscript. And you're going to share it with your team members. You're going to get feedback more branding, marketing, joint venture. You're getting ready to launch your book at that point. All of this, you would pay $1,500 for in a group coaching. We're offering it for $297. And it is an online event. We have limited, limited it because we don't want just a huge multitude. We've limited it to a small number of people and we're going to cap it. We're going to cap it because we want it to be intimate like this webinar, and we really dig down and help break you free of whatever's blocking you. So it's $297. The offer is good until 12 o'clock noon on Friday. You get a full 100% money-back guarantee. And on top of that, we didn't do this for the last group, but we're going to do this for you guys because we really see the value here is $1,200 of online marketing. It's a full 12 months of online marketing for your book, and you get it absolutely, absolutely free. Now, we are going to give you until Friday to make a decision on that, but here's one other slide I wanted to throw at you. Just a couple testimonials. Ariel Ford's been a client for a long time. She's worked with Deepak Chopra and uh, Dr. Wayne, uh, Wayne Dyer and, and uh, uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul, one of America's top publicists, so she's been referring us. We told you in the beginning we're going to give away this $1,200 in marketing. I just got an email chat from Anya. We did the randomly thing. And the email winner, let's see if I can pull up the drum rows here. He said, if you stuck around till the end, hey, there's all the controls I was looking for earlier. This is great. Where did those controls? Oh, I think I see it. So people are excited. If you want another look at this, I'll just show you what this looks like again. Oh, this, this book went number one in Six Nations. Stephanie Bavaro and, and uh, Lisa Nichols here. Here's what it looks like. You pay Palace. And actually, these slides are live on writeyourbookformula.com forward slash buy. Is right after this webinar. Give me about 20 minutes. I'm going to pop up the uh, video replay. If you want to watch it again, the slides are already there. You can share this with the decision maker if you need to consult with somebody on making that decision. 
otherwise, I would say let's get rolling the second week of um, uh, March. Second Tuesday in March is when this is going to start. And if you got any questions, you can type it in chat. Yes, indeed. Well, that's a good question, Karen. How do you safeguard what you have? And this is one thing we teach our authors um, is we brand it. Anya, maybe just give a quick little branding since we're running a few minutes early. How do you safeguard what you've got? And I think, Karen, your question is is uh, what you have not written before. So I'm going to tell you how to copyright this. Basically, it's very easy how to copyright it is you go into the footnote and on every page of what you've got before you send it to anybody to review it, you put the copyright, you just put a parenthesis around the letter C, it'll say copyright with your name in 2015, the year, and you do that before you send it to anybody. Uh, but then you also mail a certified copy to yourself and you don't open it because it's timed and date stamped with that date. That way if you ever need to prove to somebody, that's the cheap copyright. There's another copyright mode I'll get into uh, after the fact, but that's the short answer. Uh, you know the poor man's copyright, awesome. So I'm going to, we're going to award here, I just got a text from, and we're going to answer these questions. Lucy says, Michael, I'm almost done with drafting my book. Very rough, though. No, you're not too late. Actually, it's perfect, Lucy, because rough is good. Here, here's the thing. Perfectionists never start anything, and they go to their grave with their with their dreams in them and their songs in them, right, and their books in them. So rough is good. And Anya, maybe you want to speak to that, why I find the uh, special effects button, and we give yeah. away our... Uh, rough is really great, uh, actually, because the more brainstorming you have, the more successful story you're going to have. Uh, because you, when you're going to have extra set of eyes and extra set of opinion, uh, your rough draft even can grow uh, much bigger, it can be much expanded, and we can give you an insight of maybe what else it is that you would be putting in it. So, um, and I really don't think that course is for people that haven't written anything or just started writing anything, or maybe they already have their book written. We had uh, somebody who had the book written, and after attending to every webinar uh, each week, she decided, you know, I think I need to switch the uh, direction of the book, because I think if I'm going to switch, it's going to become more successful. Uh, if I'm going to add this, or maybe, you know, when you are reviewing it, and uh, even if your manuscript is completed and written, it's not too late for you to come to this webinar. This webinar is for everybody who wants to write a book, who is writing a book, and who wrote a book. Because the fact that you are writing just yet, will be writing or wrote, doesn't mean anything. What really matters is the marketing, the branding, and taking it to the um, market, to the world, to the internet. Um, uh, so really, this is uh, our ultimate goal. What to do with what you have just created. Yeah, and with that, we're going to uh, give away our $1,200 in 12 months in online marketing for the book. And I've got this here from Randomly and from Anya. She was doing this. She's amazing. She can do so much. And drum roll, please. And the winner is Lucy Hoger. Congratulations, Lucy. You're the winner. <laughs> So just email Yahweh, just email me, Michael, at beyondpublishing.net, and we're going to send you the welcome link, and, the, and the, uh, that's, that's no obligation whether you sign up or not, Michael, at beyondpublishing.net. So are there any other questions? I'm going to say, once again, that anybody that signs up between now and Friday, so the cutoff you had asked, Karen, is, uh, is noon Pacific time, because I'm actually on Pacific time. And so is Anya there in Huntington Beach and me in Vegas. So Pacific time is 12 noon on Friday. And uh, if somebody had to be traveling or didn't have that really, uh, you know what, I'm going to put the direct PayPal link right there, somebody asked. Also, if anyone needs additional explanation or if you're going to go through the PowerPoint one more time and if you need to consult with one of us one more time, 
please private message or email us and uh, I will be very happy to give you feelings. Uh, if somebody was late and missed the first part of the webinar, I can fill you in as well again. So do not uh, be afraid to ask questions. We want you to be successful because we look at your success as our success. So um, I am always very much engaged in uh, what you're doing and how you are doing it and uh, I am all for you uh, once you're going to uh, get engaged in the program. Yeah, so it's uh, your success is our success. We take every success personally and we know that um, your success in a social media world, you can go check us out, you can go Google us, you can go check me out, check Anya out, check Beyond Publishing out. Uh, or ask any of these people that were a part of the last group. Um, the whole goal is to create a family, and um, we take the money back. Um, yeah, there is there is a replay, Lucy, and it's going to go live in the next few minutes. Uh, as soon as I get a chance to uh, jump off here and load that, I'll take a few minutes. But right there on that link I put in the chat at writeyourbookformula.com, and I just want to say that we are helping build with you and your your, your platform, your message, to get your message out to the world. And it's amplified. I it's also want to add that, uh, you know, the people that we have been working with, I cannot uh, tell you how strong the group it was, how strong of uh, every individual and their story. And I feel very strongly we are going to have at least four bestsellers from our previous group. These are people that diligently worked with us, that did their homework. They really uh, moved accordingly uh, with the program. And if you will do the same, there is no way you are not going to finish your book in that uh, designated time. Yeah, we'll just say this too. Uh, Marcel's a part of the group. He's flying in from Mexico to uh, to LA to be with us for three days to uh, get his marketing up, to get his press releases. He's he's the gentleman right here in the middle. You see that uh, that is sitting here uh, on on the podium. He's flying in, and so we're so excited about launching his book. And he's coming in from Mexico. So we're so glad to have you join us. And we want to thank you very much. It's time for the world to hear your book, to see your book. Let's get your book out to the world this year. Thank you very much. Good night.